Patrick, 38 and a half miles. Killarney, 29 miles. This is Abbey Field in the heart of Ireland's creamery country. It's seven o'clock on a Monday morning in March. The calf market is on and business has been brisk. By eight o'clock, upwards of 300 calves have been sold. This is a scene that's repeated a million times every spring in Munster, and it is the first step in what we call the cattle train. In Ireland, calves have been bought and sold in markets like this for hundreds of years. The main change now is that transport is quicker, though not always ideal. But at least the baby animals spend less time traveling with its inevitable risk. The dealer still prefers a white-faced calf, but now prejudice against the Frisian is gone and black and white is as familiar in Abbey Field, Newcastle West, or Rathkeel, as at the mouth of the River Rhine, where the breed originated. Even though prices are well down in last year, the calf is still an important part of the dairy farmer's income. Here also, many are bought by dealers, and once again they travel, to be reared far from where they were born. Once it's sold, a farmer knows little about what happens to his calf. <laughs> The dealer carried him up to Princeton, and I couldn't tell you what happened to him after him. Well, we bring in the calves, the drop calves here to the mass, and uh, they're sold under the hammer to uh, men that buy calves up the country, and we hear no more about the calves once we sell them. We would like to hear uh, about more about them, because anybody that uh, has uh, a good breed of stuff, uh, the same, and it come back again if we could contact them, but uh, we don't know where they go, though.